In the east there are forests that I don't think that you would probably call forests. And there is actually a joke about the Icelandic forest is that if you get lost in an Icelandic forest, just stand up. The settlers who came here came in the year 1000, so we have a history of over a thousand year history. They came from Scandinavia and Ireland, um, so we have Viking blood. This scene. Let's begin. The turn of the day when all music fools come out to play until the drunk turn of night. So many stories to hear. My work is basically exploring the human condition in all its complexity. So how we relate to each other and how we are going through all kinds of transition in society and it's logical for me to use the figure. To have more than one figure often brings in dynamism, so there's more happening in the sculpture. There are two figures, one standing on either side of a mirror, and when you look at them uh, directly, you can just see the one figure. But as you walk around, they blend into each other. There is a really strong connection, both between the, the two figures and also between the mirror and the person who's looking at it. asexual. So they are kind of an image of the human being. That's how I've been using the figure. I mean, I've been using a lot of different materials and many of them are connected with the Icelandic landscape, you know, the colors and and the texture is uh, connected to the lava, the, the black color. different connotations glass. It's very seductive material. But it's also translucent, combining it with another more heavy material. In this case it's cast iron and glass. My name is Steinun Thorarnsdóttir and I'm a sculptor from Iceland and I'm here in New York uh, because I was opening an exhibition at the Osilas Gallery in Concordia College in Bronxville. The show at the Osilas Gallery, I think it's interesting because the space is good and I thought that was quite interesting to see it with the students' work because it's educational. In our exhibition, you're only able to get a glimpse into Stan's work. Uh, Katana Museum exhibition is going to have uh, almost a dozen or so life-size uh, pieces as an outdoor installation. 
So that exhibition promises to be a very powerful and moving experience, so we hope uh, you get a chance to see it. There are 10 trees in the garden, and I'm making 10 cast iron figures that are kind of uh, growing out of the earth like the trees. It's always strange karma seeing yourself in, in, in multiples. It's even stranger once there's people interacting with this culture. But the thing about art is that the viewer brings his own life to the interpretation of the work. I often joke about, but I'm quite serious actually when it comes down to it, uh, the concept that there's these massive metal sculptures or effigies of me all around the world in say a thousand years after the World War III or the apocalypse or whatever, there'll be this new race of humans who will be digging around in, in the ruins of the old civilizations and I strongly believe that it will be worshipped as a god by the subhumans that will populate the earth.